Wow, can't believe the six weeks is over already. That seemed to fly by. Um, when I first started this this um, academy, I I really didn't know what to expect. You never do, you know. Uh, we we as educators take some gambles on what professional development we do, and sometimes you know it's kind of rehashing stuff you've already learned, and sometimes it you know knocks your socks off and. I have to say this experience is one of the ones that kind of knocked my socks off. There was so, so, so much more information and practical uh, stuff that I can use right now, even in the course that I'm teaching at this moment, I've already incorporated some stuff. So um, yeah, I, I kind of wish I knew just how valuable it was going to be um, at the beginning. Um, now, in terms of my thoughts and advice for future participants, um, one would be, it's it's some work. There's some work in this course. Um, so do your best to carve out time for it. I know very clearly from personal experience that there is, you know, balancing a whole course, which essentially this is, with a full-time job isn't easy. Um, but pay attention to how it feels because it really does resonate with the experiences of a lot of our students who are busy and have full-time jobs and are trying to take our courses. Um, so, so that's probably my biggest advice is know that it's going to take a little bit of time and figure out how to budget it. Um, and with that, I say thank you to the folks who ran this course and I wish you all the best. Hey, good choice in choosing to take this class. This is probably the single best professional development experience that I've had. I had heard about a lot of these tools, but I had never used these tools and I had certainly never used these tools in one of my own courses. When I first logged into the course, I thought, oh, how am I going to do this? It's going to take so much time. And while it does take a lot of time, it is totally worth it. Good luck. Well, hey everyone, it's Heather Roberts coming to you. I just wanted to share some thoughts on this wisdom wall about the Humanizing Online STEM um, course. I absolutely loved this course. It was so much more than I thought it was going to be and I have a lot more knowledge. Um, one thing that I would definitely say is to get started early in the week. You know, we tell our students that all the time, but get started as early you can in the week. Um, there's a lot of information to absorb and reflect upon. And, you know, I found myself thinking over the concepts for a really long time before starting each assignment. And then I actually redid some of my assignments before I submitted them. So get started early. Um, be open to change. I'm so happy that I was flexible and opened up my mind to making change in my classes. My students are going to be a lot more um, efficient learners and will be um, less stressed because of the changes I get to make now. Try everything in the course. Um, when given the choice between using a new piece of technology in the course or using something that you're used to using, Go for the new thing. I am so happy that I did. I was very reluctant to post my stuff on YouTube just because I'm not really a YouTube person, but I finally bit the bullet and tried it. And now I think it's the bomb. Um, and have fun. You know, take the knowledge seriously, but have fun making your new creations and make sure that you, um, you know, discuss things in the discussion boards um, with everyone because I learned a lot from my peers as well. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. My advice is to have fun with these projects. This may be a new way of teaching, a new way of putting material together for some of you, but as long as you're having fun with it and trying to make the material your own, I think it'll be pretty successful in the outcomes of this course. Um, something that I, felt at the start of this course is that um, it was going to be a big time commitment and I was kind of regretting signing up for one that was smack dab in the middle of my semester. Um, I wish I had done one maybe over the summer or towards the beginning of the semester when I feel like I usually have more time. Um, but I was determined to make it through it. Um, and um, 
I'm glad that I did. And I know that when I first started, I was especially worried about um, assignment due dates being on Sunday because my weekends are precious to me for family time. And so what I learned throughout the course is that I could work ahead and that I could, you know, commit to getting all of my work done for this course Monday through Friday. So that way, when Saturday and Sunday rolled around, I didn't necessarily have to check into the course to get things done. Um, and so I appreciated that flexibility of uh, this online professional development course. Um, and I've uh, taken away a lot of resources that I'm excited to use in my newly humanized uh, online statistics course. So um, all in all, I had a, a great six weeks and I would highly recommend this course to anyone else. Hi everyone. When um, I learned about this course, it took actually took me two weeks to decide whether I, I was gonna sign up for the course or not. Um, but I decided I need something like this because I felt that my online course was not where I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be more engaging and I felt, I felt like I, it needed that little, um, additional element, like making it more fun, more engaging, um, more user friendly for my students. And I felt like it wasn't there. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this class. And I'm so glad that I did because I have learned so much um, from the different apps that we use in the class, like Flip Video and Adobe Express and Canva. I mean, I can go on and on. Um, the advice that I would give to you guys is that don't be afraid um, to ask questions if you're um, if you're lost or if you're not sure about something, email your team leader or even post it on the discussion board. And also, um, I would recommend that you guys um, check out all the required assignments for the entire for the week. That's what I did. That helped me kind of manage my time. I went and looked the head and read every single one of the assignments that's going to be due for that week. That way I can pace myself. I'm so busy with my other courses, the, the courses that I teach um, and with my family. And so I had to just to make sure that I put, if there's three assignments for that week, I had to make sure that, I, you know, I, I put a due date on my calendar as far as when I will complete all those. And it really helped out a lot knowing what the um, what's expected of you for that week. So good luck and enjoy the class. Hello, humanizers. My name is Melody Schmid and I teach biology at Butte College. My advice for the Humanizing STEM Academy is to really embrace being a student. Uh, for me, uh, in addition to the wonderful content, uh, learning activities in this course was just being a student in a Canvas class and seeing what that's like. So I encourage you to use the Canvas student app on a mobile device um, and do as much as you can of the course that way, um, just to see what that experience is like for students, see what it's like to navigate discussions and other activities in Canvas. Um, and also just being aware of, you know, managing time and when do I need to reply to discussions on a discussion board and, and seeing how useful the reminders that come on a regular basis are. So for me, uh, that was a huge highlight, just being a student in a Canvas course and the modeling of what it's like um, to be a humanizing educator and the modeling that the facilitators provided of that. So enjoy the course and uh, have fun being a student again. Hey, Future Academy students. Um... If there's one thing that really kind of stuck with me from at least from the very beginning of the academy, it would be the letting yourself be vulnerable. That's one of the topics we talk about. I mean, here I am filming uh, in the middle of the night um, in a bed just because it's just when I had time to uh, do this assignment. And that's one of the things that you'll learn is not just for us as uh, participants in the academy, 
But something to also bring to the table to our students as well is that especially in this very high stress world where we have a lot of students that are juggling so many different things, um, I think it's important to be able to be vulnerable um, and what better way to do that um, than here with uh, like-minded colleagues and awesome uh, facilitators. So um, definitely um, allow yourself to be vulnerable. There's definitely going to be some top, um, topics and some things that are like you have to really do some reflecting and, you know, how do I want to change? And part of it is somewhat admitting that I wasn't necessarily conducting my online class um, as humanized as it could have been, but that's okay. It's part of a learning process. It's part of a journey. Um, so definitely just want to share that with you all. Um, the Academy has been great. I definitely am coming away with this with a lot of um, tools and kind of, uh, you know, ideas on how to better present my online class. So that way, um, you know, we feel like so that way our students um, can feel welcome. You know, something that I definitely felt I was missing in my online class was like what I just kind of called the social aspect. Um, and for a while, I kind of just said, well, then maybe that's just something you miss. And here is an academy that's all about bringing that in. And for something like STEM, it may seem like that's kind of, you know, ancillary. But one thing I've learned in the academy is that it's actually really important that that sense of belonging, a part of a learning community can be sometimes cru crucial and integral um, in, in helping a student succeed. Anyways, uh, best of luck. Uh, you're going to have a great time in the academy. There's a lot of work, but it's all really, really good work. So um, have a good academy.